Just going outside today, my one pet novel terrace. This is a fantastic place, really, really great place. It's huge. It's the end terrace. And for those who don't know, St. Ives Ped Novel Terrace is one of the most sought after terraces in St. Ives. This one in particular, being the end terrace, is certainly one of the better ones. It's got the better views of all of St. Ives. You're about a two minute walk, if I look down the street there, um, to you know the, the top of Tregenna Hill, effectively right down into the town. That little road that you see to my right there takes you down pretty much to just opposite Portminster Beach. So it's central to most things in St Ives really. So the houses are a good mix along this terrace of holidays, uh lived in. Some have been converted into a couple of apartments. They are very popular and when they come on the market they tend to go or, or get the interest relatively quickly. I said this one's the end terrace one. So we've got the benefit here of this larger garden space which goes around to the side front part here up to the side of the property and steps down we'll go around to the rear just to show you the rear access Access in, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Over to the lovely rear garden, which again, a lot of the other properties along this terrace don't have. And this one being the end terrace has the benefit of a little sun trap, nice and sunny. You'll get a good chunk of the afternoon sun in here and some of the evening too. And it's stock full of lovely plants. It's a really pleasant place to sit. Right, let's take you inside and have a look at the property. Right, so we're inside number one now. It's a five bedroom, four bedrooms are en suite. Uh, all of those rooms are excellent size doubles. We've got a small little snug room as well at the back, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, we walk in, we've got a super entrance hallway, lovely wood floor, big staircase going up, still some original features as well with the deck shift arch and the, the cornice ceiling. Here in the entrance hall, we've got this lovely tiled Flooring, all original. Here we go to the entrance hall. It's guest entries you throw out as well. Super room, super house, super, super rooms in a super house. So as we go into our left, we've got, and again, the benefit of being this end terrace one is we've got this big window to the, to the side, which gives this lovely extra degree of light into this very large dining area. lovely wood floor again we've got the lovely corny ceilings we have a little ceiling rose and that lovely window to the side there then into the lounge area these really are super houses the, the ceiling heights are fantastic the lights lovely again it's nice wood floor we have a radiator in here those nice corny ceilings lovely large bay window to the front overlooking that front garden with just the glimpse of the sea in the distance and Gadrivi Lighthouse. Lots of power points, uh, so radiators in every room. To the rear of the property, we walk into this large kitchen. Nice big tile slate flooring. Um, the property's currently used as a very successful holly let and has been lived in and has been a bed and breakfast at some stage. So hence the stainless steel kitchen or part stainless steel kitchen they've got. It looks fairly commercial, um, quite industrial and I think it works really well. Got all the plumbing in here for the washing machine, dishwasher, a large stainless steel sink unit, the space for the large range cooker. 
these all granite worktop surfaces. And again, we have a radiation here, a little cupboard behind me under the stairs, but it's a, a large room. We've just seen the garden actually from the, the first part of the video, but I'll just take you out here so we can see a little more. So we've got a gate access in front of us here, which takes you to the side of the property and that gate access to the rear, which takes you to the two parking spaces. But it really is a nice spot. Very nice spot. It's actually half, half past three in the afternoon here and that sun is still streaming in. So it's a proper little um, sun trap. Right, let's take you upstairs and show you the first floor. Large staircase up, not too steep, really accessible. Up to another small landing and to the back of the house into this bathroom. So you've got the freestanding bath. And a WC and a small wash hand basin. Uh, behind me on the wall is the heated towel. And there's obviously a window to the, to the rear. To probably the smaller of the bedrooms. Certainly a double, laid out currently as a, a large twin. We have a radiator in here, a window to the side that looks out over that side garden, and into a ensuite. We've got a walk in shower cubicle, as we can see. It's a large walk in shower cubicle, 